This is an all signs bonus reading. We'll start with fire, earth, air, fire, earth, air, and then water. Okay. Let's get started. Oh, if I haven't mentioned, this is what spirit wants to tell you. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What does spirit want to tell Sagittarius? You have the power to let it go, to untie whatever restraints and restrictions that you are feeling in your energy. You are the one that can untie yourself and let it go, or free yourself, as I would like to say. This could be on an emotional level, that is becoming a thought pattern. So there could be something on an emotional level that could be restraining you, making you think that you are helpless, un incapable of accomplishing something or doing something or being free of something. This is telling you that you do have or possess the power to let it go, to free yourself from it. You can do it. Tap into your higher self. So, not intuition, your higher self. You know what to do, deep down anyway. This is uh, bringing the awareness to you. That you are capable of freeing yourself from an emotional burden or from the burden of thought that could be repeating in a way that's becoming toxic for your well-being or toxic for, for your energy in general. Okay. Ooh. There is a way, there is always a way. Do what's best for you, Sagittarius. Do what's best for you. Prioritize yourself over others. And as I always like to say, you cannot help anybody if you can't help yourself. So even if you're thinking, oh, well, I don't want to be selfish. I don't want to, you know, uh, prioritize myself for whatever reason you might, you know, use as an excuse. Let me tell you. Even if you're helping others, you cannot help them if you cannot help yourself. That's why you need to prioritize yourself or understand why you need to prioritize yourself in order to get things done for yourself and naturally for others. You are not alone is what I'm hearing. Hmm. You are not alone. You do have options. Like I said, there is always a way. This is just emphasizing on that energy that I spoke of. There is always a way. You do have options. You do have people. You do have uh, opportunities. You do have options. Whatever you think that could be the dead end, it's not. Maybe you're thinking about a certain someone, but like, I'm going to give you an example, okay? So apply it to your situation as, as you see fit. But as an example, for example, if you love someone and you think, oh, it's a dead end because this person is not compatible with me, for example, you have to ask yourself this. Is it the person that I'm looking for or is it love in a certain way that I'm looking for that I thought I found through that person, but then I was wrong? Something like that, okay? 
So, widen your perspective. Is it the person or is it the thing that you painted them as that you're looking for? So if you see yourself in a situation where you reach a dead end, it is not the end, it is redirection. It is to redirect you towards your wish fulfillment. So don't think it is the end of your desires there or the end of your wish fulfillment that lays with that person, with that situation, because it's not. When you manifest something, remember that sometimes it doesn't come the way you imagine it. It doesn't come the way that you have planned. Sometimes it comes in a different way. But you have to be aware to notice that it is what you have manifested. So, if you are in a situation where you think that is what you have manifested in a way, I mean, this could be love for some of you already, or for some of you anyway. If something or a situation, person, whatever it is that you have manifested that is based on your desire and wish fulfillment comes along and it doesn't work out, it doesn't mean that it is actually your manifestation. It could be a redirection towards a new perspective, a new environment, a new person to fulfill the manifestation. Because sometimes when you do manifest, what happens is that you will notice your life falling apart. This is basically the restructuring of your manifestation. When you manifest, you can't manifest from where you are because where you are didn't manifest the thing that you wanted. So when you manifest, remember that your life will, perhaps you, you could perceive it as getting worse before it gets better. Because you need to break things down in order to rebuild them. And that includes the environment, the people, whatever situation that you find yourself in that doesn't align with the manifestation of your desire. Okay? Something to think about. And I'll leave it there, Sagittarius. I wish you the best of luck. Leo. What does Spirit want to tell Leo? Now, I'm not sure if you are aware of this or not, but it tells me here that you have manifested another cycle with someone that you've already been with. Or maybe about to begin a cycle, or another cycle, I want to say, with someone that you either have been with, or someone that is a, a, a freaking mirror of the person that you've been with. Meaning the same type of person, the same type of behavior, the same type of thing. You know what I mean? You know when you go for a rebound, kind of, I mean, I wouldn't say rebound, no, no. You know when you uh, date someone and then it doesn't work out, you go for someone that looks like that person or uh, because you're not really over the person that you left or they have left you, whatever the case. So it's either going back to someone that you've been with already or manifest as someone that is the <laughs> spit image of the person that you were with. This is kind of telling you, it's like FYI. If you don't want to do, so you, if, if you don't want to do this, you have to be aware of this because you are. You are manifesting a person that 
you've been with or manifesting a person that is very much like the person that you've left or separated from. And you need to be aware of this because some of you could be doing this subconsciously without realizing. And if you are consciously or if you have consciously manifested this another cycle or this person that is so much like the old cycle, then, I mean, you know, you know better, it's your life. But for the ones that don't know that they are manifesting that cycle, FYI, you are. Bring awareness and do what you will with it, okay? Yes, it needs a bit of reflection here. Consult with people that you trust or feel like they could give you good advice because you don't have to go backwards to feel loved, to feel that, you know, I feel like you did have a good connection with the person that you separated from, but there, there were so much, I want to say drama, yeah, so much drama in the mix which separated the both of you, whether you both decided on that or just the circumstance pushed you there. Talk to someone is what I'm getting. Talk to someone, consult with someone, unbiased, preferably, um, so that you can, you know, put your thoughts out there and have a dialogue with a person so that you can make that decision on what to do with you manifesting another cycle or another person that has the same characteristics of the person that you have separated from. Okay. Ooh. Aries. What does spirit want to tell Aries? Someone is watching you and they have no good intention towards you. They can have Capricorn in their chart or Leo in their chart. This person is watching you win. Maybe it's their karma. Maybe it's their karma. This person is watching you win. They are watching you and I'm not sure in what sense. They could be watching you online or you have mutual friends that they are uh, getting updated by. But what they're hearing are things that are good happening for you. And this person is like fuming with resentment and hate that you are winning. They fucking hate seeing you win. Let me just tell you. This person might get in touch soon because I feel like they haven't done that yet. Ooh. This could be a person that you cut out of your life that you have recognized they're toxic and they have no place in your life. And this person will try to get on your good side to be part of the winnings that you are experiencing. Be careful. This is 100% a snake energy. They have no good, in no good intentions towards you, yet they want to be part of your victory, of your accomplishments. They want to be part of it. Yeah. They will tell you that they want to work on things. They will tell you that they will change. They will tell you... I want, I want us back. I, I want to work on things with you. I want to blah, blah. Lies, lies, and more lies. They want what you are 
accumulating. They want your luck. They want to be part of the accomplishments that you have been blessed with. So let this be your warning. We have snake in the house. Oh, yeah, they don't like me saying that. <laughs> they can suck on you. All right, these are the fire signs done. Hopefully not too fast because uh, these messages are like very straightforward. Very good. What does spirit want to tell Virgo? I don't know why I heard that. Level up buttercup. <laughs> uh. hmm. There is fire here, Virgo. There was someone in your energy that's very determined strong, maybe even stubborn, hardworking. This can be a friend or um, someone that has feelings for you or someone that you have a spark with <clears throat> and they might not want me to tell you this. Um, it feels like It feels like a friend zone, okay? Someone friend zoned someone. If you have friend zoned this person, they will not admit their feelings for you if they have them. Because it's a, it's a very subtle, it's a very subtle spark. You can almost mistake it as desire. So I wouldn't say feelings just yet because I don't see emotions. I see fire. Okay. Um, so I see here another energy. There's another energy here. This, this person is intuitive, motherly, or can be a mother or a father. I mean, we have a feminine, like I'm getting like a female, like a mother, a mother figure. Um, it's almost, it's giving me like a housewife uh, energy where this person is um, perhaps at home a lot or they take care of things at home, like a housewife, you know what I mean? Um, this can be uh, your mother, Virgo. This can be your mother. Um, but I see here this mother figure is very intuitive. They do have a bit of ego. That is, um, that other people might perceive as arrogance. This uh, person is uh, needing you, meaning they need your support. They will contact you to get in touch. Um, I feel like, I feel like this can be one of the situations where a family member or a sister or like it's definitely a female i don't know i usually don't go for you know gender categorization but 
The moment I said mother, I saw a mother, okay? Someone that is taking care of others, that will be in contact with you, that will want your support or needs your emotional support. This person is really going through something, like perhaps an, a, a crisis that they're keeping to themselves and not telling anybody, and they might contact you and say something very subtly that they want to talk or they or they might let you know just to test the water like i feel like this person is very reluctant to let you know what they're going through for whatever reason So expect a mother figure, a female, sister, family member, friend, perhaps, or someone that is the mother that will contact you for um, emotional support. And I fe it feels it feels like it's not even showing me what they're going through. It's showing me that they're keeping that hidden. But they will want to open up with you and tell you about it or um, consult you. Okay, okay. It's a weird message for Virgo, but that's what I got. Taurus. Taurus. What does Barrett want to tell Taurus? He might have last minute um, traveling to do soon. It will be good for you. Here is what I'm getting for you, okay. If you feel like you are stuck in a situation and there is nothing that you can do, get away from it. You will find solution in that sense. And if you can travel, go ahead and travel because that will clear your head or takes you out of the energy that's keeping you too close to the situation to make the right decision or judgment. Now I see what you will decide, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to influence your decision because there is a big part of this as a lesson. So when you find yourself, when you are away, maybe a vacation, maybe another country, maybe another state, maybe another place, whatever it is, get away from the situation that has been confusing you and putting you in stagnation. The moment you do that, get in touch with your intuition and in that you will realize exactly what to do, how to do it and when to do it. Which will be the best decision to do regarding a situation that has been keeping your energy stagnant for some reason. Have faith in your judgment once you reach, like before you even think about making a judgment, you need to get away. You need to get, you need to take yourself out of the problem first. Second, get in touch with your intuition regarding the situation. Be outside of the problem so that you can have the clarity. Once you do that, you will make the right decision. I believe in you. Do not doubt yourself. Do not doubt your intuition. Once you have that clarity, you will know. Like there is something that will tell you, yes, this feels right. That is the decision that you will make. But it is also the right decision to make. I'm hearing don't, don't overthink it, okay? Don't overthink it. Okay. 
Capricorn. What does spirit want to tell Capricorn? Drama. First thing I heard. Stay away from the drama is your message here. So far, we have two cards. But spirit is telling you to focus on yourself and not other people and what they say and what they are doing. Stay away from it. Stay away from gossip. Be realistic. Focus on yourself, your job, your life. Do not indulge in the gossip because it will confuse your energy. I mean, if anything, it will lower your energy because gossip is low vibration. So, yes, exactly. Stay away from it, okay? So this is really simple, Capricorn. It's telling you not to indulge in conversations where other people are being talked about. It's telling you to stay away from it. You don't have to be, obviously, you don't have to be rude and say, I don't want to gossip. Okay, but it's telling you to kind of pull yourself out of it and focus on your life because you have better things to do than to gossip about people that at the end of the day don't matter. Now, you don't control other people and what they do with their time, but you control your time and what you do with it. So, this is telling you to be wise about how you spend your time because you do have better things to do than to indulge in drama that won't get you anywhere and will waste your time, okay? Be realistic, logical, especially if you notice the gossip energy around you or the drama, let's say, okay? All right, these are the air signs done. Let me strip them legs. <laughs> Leather on skin is not my favorite thing to sit on for too long. Ooh. All right. Okay, we'll do ear signs. Sorry, I left my body for a second. All right, so. Aquarius. Aqua. Does spirit want to tell Aquarius? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. You know what, Aquarius? <laughs> if you don't take the opportunity that has been given to you, then, I mean, this is, this will sound really, this will sound really tough to say, 
But if you don't take the opportunity that you know is the opportunity to make a move, to make something happen, then it's only you to blame. And I hate to say that because it will sound harsh. Okay, but look at this. The Lovers, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Cups. It's like seeing your happiness, but not going towards your happiness. Spirit is telling you, what the fuck are you doing? Go towards it. It's there. We have given you the opportunity. It was handed to you. Take it. You know when you know when you give someone something. You have to extend your hand and take it. It's been given to you. And so the Knight of Sword is telling you if you're not going to grab the opportunity by the fucking neck, not literally, but you will miss out on the Ten of Cups. You don't want to miss out on the Ten of Cups, especially when you have the lover's energy here. This is regarding a person that you feel a soul... I, I don't even want to say soulmate. It could be even a twin flame. It could be someone that you feel a strong connection with, but you're not doing a damn thing. Now... It's like, it's not even about going towards this person and telling them whatever. It's about taking the opportunity because the universe is giving you the opportunity on a silver, a silver platter. Extending, like, this is, this is the universe's hand. Extending the opportunity to you, all you have to do is reach out and take it. You're not doing much. You're not creating the opportunity. The, the, the opportunity has been created for you. But you haven't made a move to grab it. You're like just staring at someone giving you something. You're just staring. You see what I mean? Like imagine someone is giving you something and you're like, It's rude. <laughs> Three cards, but I can I can call your ass on that energy all night if you want. <laughs> but that's what that is the main thing here for you, Aquarius. Is telling you to take the opportunity instead of look at it stupid. I know it's harsh, it's harsh to say, but that's why I'm here. <laughs> uh, you can blame me if you want, but if you miss out on an opportunity that will make you happy, like the Ten of Cups would, you wouldn't blame me for, for, for being harsh on you. I'm just looking after you. All right. Gemini. What does spirit want to tell Gemini? hearing great idea great idea you have been thinking thinking so much about something someone an idea an idea something that you want to do it's a great idea it's a great idea let me tell you I mean these are the two cards after I heard a great idea the wheel of fortune and the ace of wands Great idea, great idea. Go ahead, go ahead and, and, you know, like start to implement it in the physical. Because you have been thinking a lot. And in a way it's creating this procrastinating energy instead of putting action towards it. So this is telling you basically to put action towards the idea 
that is a great idea, but is waiting for you to be actioning things towards it. Great idea. Go ahead. This is your confirmation. Go ahead and implement actions and plan towards making that idea manifest. Because this, uh, this idea will not be one of those that just appear in front of you. It has steps towards getting it or gaining it or making it manifest. Okay, so the idea that you've been thinking about a lot is a great idea and you should action towards it already. Come on, come on, you can do it. <coughs> you can do it, Gemini. Stop procrastinating about thinking it because thinking is already done. Action is needed now. Okay. Libra. What does spirit want to tell Libra? What does spirit want to tell? Okay. Sorry. What does spirit want to tell Libra? This is about someone's marriage. Okay, so this will be a specific one. If you are married or if someone will propose to you, this, like, I'm getting, like, this is about a marriage. A marriage that either has been... How do I say it? So it is either an existing marriage or a marriage waiting to happen, okay? But there seems to be obstacles and overthinking happening here in your energy. I just heard, listen to your friend. Listen to your friend. I don't know what that means and how that is relevant to what I'm speaking about. Hmm. This is not very obvious, like this is a very complicated one. Okay, so someone here will propose. So this is a marriage that didn't happen yet, Libra. Someone will propose and you are not sure if you want it. Or you're not sure if this, if it's the right thing to accept. You could be having someone wait on your answer. Now, if this ha doesn't ha it didn't happen for you yet, I mean, you might not resonate with this, but keep that in mind. If there is someone that is taking you seriously and wants something serious with you, they have in mind a proposal. Now, when they actually propose, you'll be like, taken back and you're like, uh, should I actually do that? I don't know if it's a good idea. You will overthink it, but you will also marry them. I feel like you will say yes eventually. And you know what I really want to say, not say, I mean, I really want to see if this, if accepting this marriage is a good idea for you, because I see here that you have your doubts. You feel like there is something missing, something not right, something not sitting well with you. But this is what I see. This is why I this is why I suspect that there is more to the story. Because there are other people that are influencing this union. And I want to see what that is exactly. Whoa, I just felt something. Okay, let's see, what is, what is in the way or okay, will this marriage be a good 
marriage or good idea for Libra. Ouch. Oh. Now, I mean, that's a harsh message right here. This is a tough one, and I understand why it has, like, it confused me. It confused me at the beginning because here is what you will intuitively, subconsciously think and know that there's something that is hidden, something that's hidden here, and it's kind of like making you reluctant to say yes. But I see you eventually saying yes. Now, if you are resonating with this and if there is a person that will propose to you and if you feel there is something wrong, there is something not right, you better believe it. Spirit is telling you not to marry this person. And that's why it's a harsh message because it's telling you not to marry this person and to be single focusing on yourself, whatever that means. That you need to reject this proposal. Because this marriage will bring drama and will bring confusion. And there could be other people having a say in it. Meaning this can be as, as stupid as having a mother-in-law or a father-in-law father or whatever-in-laws or people, other people, friends, whatever, having a say about that marriage. And that will have a huge impact on your connection. So it's telling you not to be wasting your time or being bothered by saying no and trusting your intuition instead of saying yes just because it's the right thing to do or the less embarrassing th thing to do, right? Like we need to normalize uh, someone saying no if they don't feel ready, if there is something that they feel that is not right. You know? So don't be embarrassed because I feel like you will have your intuition telling you no, no, no. There is too much hidden, there is too much drama, and you could be finding yourself overthinking it. You could be finding yourself thinking, 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 worried about, uh, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't seem right, or worried about what others, other people might say. But Spirit is telling you, don't give a fuck what others say. Give a fuck about you, how about that? Say no to you. Say say no to you. Say no for you. You know. This person. I don't know, Libra. I don't know. This is a tough one. I agree. It's a tough one. But, you know, it's through those tough situations where you become strong. So this is the spirit is telling you to be strong, courageous, to say no. It's not easy. I know that. But if your intuition is warning you or telling you there is something not right about this, you better believe your intuition. And you better say no for your own sake. Otherwise, you will be saying yes and wasting your time and getting divorced, I don't know, after a while. Who knows? Or maybe you will tolerate it because you don't approve of divorce and you will waste your fucking life again this could be a really specific message so don't take it if this is not you if you don't have anyone in your life what the fuck are you doing relating to it <laughs> you know so please use your common sense if this is not your situation not your reading do not fucking claim it especially because this is a tough one Okay. All right. <clears throat> Air signs done. Right. Let's do water.
What does Spirit want to tell Pisces? <clears throat> I forgot to say Pisces for the time thing. But Pisces. Pisces. What does Spirit want to tell Pisces? What does Spirit want to tell Pisces? It was so random. I felt something touch my boo. What does Spirit want to tell Pisces? Hmm. I'm hearing pull away, pull away. And it's from someone that you have feelings for. It's telling you not to make a move towards them or not to go towards them. This person could be your twin flame, could be a person that you feel a really strong connection to. And I say a twin flame because we do have the Six of Cups. Now, with the Six of Cups and the pulling away message and the Queen of Swords, you could have ended things with this person or things didn't work out for whatever reason and you could be left with those feelings and now you're thinking oh maybe I should make a move towards this person this is telling you no pull away stay put this person is not ready because guess what they are not ready for whatever you're feeling they don't have they don't have that in common with you the feelings that you're feeling for them are not mutual and so spirit is telling you not to waste your time at least for now because this person is needing to grow the fuck up and so you not going towards them or helping them or trying to make them understand things or the connection or your feelings is pointless You'll be wasting your time doing that. They need to understand things and grow up on their own. And you don't need to be there to teach them those lessons. They will be taught to them whether they like it or not, actually. Because that's what life is about. So if a person, especially if it's a, especially if it's a twin flame, okay. If a, if a twin flame is not ready to match your energy, the universe will not allow it to happen. And you will be wasting your time trying to make it happen. So this is telling you to pull back, pull away, not do anything about it. Even if you have feelings, because guess what? If this is your twin flame, nothing new. If your twin flame is not ready to match your energy, to be on your level, it's pointless because they still have to learn and grow up. And I don't care what, what age they are because if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen this lifetime. You two will come back the next life to try again. And that is the sad part. Because twin flames can drag for lifetimes. And if this person doesn't come to the conscious decision to make themselves learn from the situations that they are given by the universe to match your energy, to match your level, they will drag it to the next life. And unfortunately, they will drag you with it. And you will have to kind of find each other. You will meet each other because that's what a twin flame journey is. You will meet each other again in your next life. And you will do the same blah blah. And hopefully by then they will recognize you as the twin flame. But so far, Knight of Wands, this is not a person that wants to hear what you have to say. This is a person that's driven by desire and driven by impulse.
It is what it is. What it is. All right. Scorpio. What does Spirit want to tell Scorpio? Give time to your spiritual practice. Interesting. Make time for your spiritual practice. Now, I'm talking to a Scorpio that is in touch with their spiritual practice. If this is not you, mm, I don't know. But maybe, you know, stop practicing your spirituality or make time for your practice, meaning meditation, whatever. I, I hope it's not witchcraft because I don't fucking support that energy, nor do my spirit guides. OK, so. Practice spirituality, make time for it, even when you're busy, even when you're finding yourself like a busy bee, getting things done left and right, doesn't matter. You make time for your spiritual expansion. If you don't, I mean, you're not here to just to, you know, work, 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 or be busy with people, whatever that's busying you is no excuse. You make time for your spiritual practice or your spiritual expansion or maybe give it more time if you're already doing that now there is someone interesting here that's also being mentioned that you could have a soul connection with that is moving towards you but they're also being held back from you maybe because you need to get to know yourself better when it comes to your spiritual practice before they move towards you. There are changes needing to happen first before this interesting person comes in your life. That is if you are single, because I feel like you are single, you know. It doesn't feel like you're looking. It feels, it feels like you're so busy, you don't even have time for someone. And Spirit is telling you, like, uh, it doesn't have to be like this. You don't come to life just to work or just to, I don't know, be busy. You need to filter out the activities in your life that have no real meaning. Or aren't really helping you develop. what I like to call them time fillers. You need to um, differentiate or prioritize the things that you're doing, the things that are keeping you busy from doing things that are high priority. And if you're saying, oh, everything that I'm doing is important, well, are you sure? Are you sure? Because I see here there is time wasted. Now, if you are not 100% sure what that might be, I suggest something that I'm doing myself, which is tracking your activities. What I mean by that, um, you could download an app or whatever works for you, where you calculate what you spend your time doing. Um, in a week, there is one, six, eight hours. What the fuck are you doing with 168 hours per week? If you have a job that is, let's say, 40 to 50 hours, and I doubt that because not a lot of people work that much, but if you are one of those, you have about 128 hours left. And if you sleep like I sleep, I sleep about 60 hours per week. So, what are you doing with the rest? 
You see what I mean? There's lots left. So you need to kind of like be really practical or approaching this in a practical way to see where you're wasting your time and what activities are time fillers but have no investment towards what you want to accomplish in life. Once you do that, you will naturally remove the obstacles that are in the way of you meeting someone if you are single. Or maybe if you are in a relationship, I want to say maybe revive the connection that you have with this person or uh, spend more time with them because there is something about you having to make time for love. which you are too busy to have, okay? All right, uh, last but not least, Cancer. Cancer, what does Spirit want to tell Cancer? Scuzu. <laughs> there will be something that you don't even think is a big deal which will have a huge impact on your life if you maintain doing it or maintain giving it attention or maintain investing in it you s currently you see it as a very small thing but Spirit is encouraging you to give it more time, more attention, more investment. This can be career or it can be regarding your love life. Take it as it resonates. But whatever it is that you're ridiculing almost, is telling you that not to ridicule it because it has potential to grow immensely in the future. And it will have, it, it will be a huge part of your life in the future. So this is telling you uh, to not rush to judgment when it comes to a situation or a person that you might be ridiculing at this time because it seems to be like a small win, but it will in fact have a huge win and will be a big part of your life in the future. So I see a victory here. Something that you will be proud of having. Something that will be a big part of your life. In your future. Don't minimize it. Don't ridicule it. Don't judge it early on. Give it time and see how much it will grow. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed these readings. I will see you soon.